Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. I am comedy musician and comedy music fan, Insane Ian, and this week we are reacting to the Game Grumps-inspired Ghost Hunters Adventure Club theme song by the Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills Fan Society. That's a long-winded way of saying that Game Grumps wrote a book under an assumed name and are publishing it uh, in sort of an augmented reality game promotion kind of thing. All right, there's going to be a, a kind of a long preface here, so dig in, folks. So, Aaron Hansen of Game Grumps uh, has been was trying to promote two different ARGs uh, at the same time uh, for two different things that Game Grumps were doing. One was a game, and one was a book. The game was Soviet Jump Game that was promoted to be a found game, a, a hitherto unknown game for the Dendi system, which is a Russian Nintendo knockoff uh, that uh, they found a game for it that was never released. It had a, like a paper label on it. And uh, some people reacted badly to that because uh, they didn't... They, they felt they got played, basically. They felt that they were lied to because they thought this was some sort of cool gaming thing that had never been discovered, and it turns out, no, it was marketing for their new, free, online Battle Royale, Royale game done in 8-bit style called Soviet Jump Game. I, admittedly, was one of those people who felt kind of burned by that. Now, admittedly, when Blair Witch came out, I thought that thing was cool. Oh, it's a found footage movie that isn't really found footage. They're kind of marketing it like it was something that they found, but it was really something that they shot specifically to look like that. That's cool. But because I feel closer to games, I kind of felt a little burned by it. I was like, oh, hey, they're trying an ARG. I, I shouldn't feel as kicked around by this as I do, but I did. You know, I, I'm not, I'm gonna own up to that. I felt burned by it. But, that said, uh, Aaron handled that really well by issuing a video that was a kind of apology for going, yeah, I thought people would be cool with it, and they weren't, and then having him be kidnapped by KGB agents who tell him, no, this wasn't a unknown Dendi game. Tell them that you made this, because it really was an unknown Dendi game, and it was a KGB thing. That was a cool apology that they flipped and kept the ARG element to it by denying the ARG element in it publicly by making it... It was a whole thing, and the apology made me actually appreciate it more. Because he apologized because... I guess you could call it an apology. It wasn't really an apology, but it was sort of like, hey, we didn't want to piss people off with this. We were just trying to have fun. Sorry it backfired. Sorry people didn't quite take it the way that we expected them to take it. I was one of the people who didn't take it the way they expected them to take it. And I appreciated that video, and I ended up liking what they were doing with it because of that, because that felt more like Game Grumps. Uh, the ARG element of it, I should have liked, and I didn't. At the same time that they were doing that, Aaron was also saying that his uncle was being was was telling his mother to help him promote his book. Now, before we saw anything about the book, he posted a link. My mom is making me do this. My mom is making me promote my uncle's book. I don't like to do this. I don't. I'm not close with this uncle. I don't like him. And so because he said that, and I remember him saying, planting the seeds of this in episodes of Game Grumps, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm not going to click on that. I don't care about your uncle's book. And then turns out it goes to Ghost Hunters Adventure Club, the first Game Grumps published book. So it again was given out under false pretenses. And then images of Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills come out, and it's clearly Aaron in a wig. Uh, so some people still didn't kind of like that joke. At this point, I'm kind of like, okay, I see what you're doing. You're just trying to have fun with marketing. I get that. That's fine. Cool. Do what you need to do. I I've kind of gotten past being mad about it and go, okay, this is just how you're deciding to market with this. You're doing this. The, the, the book thing is very tongue-in-cheek. 
and the Dendi game wasn't tongue-in-cheek until people had a little bit of an outcry on it. And now it's very tongue-in-cheek with the whole KGB thing. Um, so because this is a little bit more tongue-in-cheek, I appreciated it more. Uh, and so now, Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills had his website, and he couldn't access his website. Some other publisher or some other author was keeping him out of it. So Game Grumps posted the website and said, Hey, our fans, hack this website. See what you can find in there and get the site back because he doesn't remember his password to get into his website. Hack this, get his password back so he can get in here and actually update it about his new book, The Ghost Hunters Adventure Club. Fans did that. They actually got through and, and got into the site and uncovered all this stuff. So the first chapter of the book is available up there now. And they found a theme song, which is right now, five minutes into this video, we are now getting to what the hell this thing is. This is a song about the Ghost Hunters Adventure Club. This is the theme song. And the people singing it are Dan and Aaron from Game Grumps. So that's why it's on A Comedy Musician Reacts. God damn, that was a long way to get around to that. Uh, but much shorter than I expected, because I tend to ramble. Anyway, we're going to watch this. This is going to be a thing. Uh, obviously, there are going to be images of Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills. That's clearly Aaron Hansen. Or is it? Am I supposed to be in on the thing, too? No, I'm not doing that. This is just this. Okay, we're going to watch now. And listen, because song. There he is at the typewriter, trying to not look like him. Fan Society Players present Ghost Hunters Adventure Club theme song. Once there was a man, and from his mind it's Aaron. forth a story of heroism, a story of adventure, and above all else, a story of truth. <laughs> this song is not about that story, it's not about what you would pay him to write it, no. <laughs> this is about the book he could say. A young adult mystery novel, which is fine. <laughs> so the whole character is that he's written many books, and he's stuck making a young adult's book because that's what sells, and he absolutely... Like, he thinks the characters he's written are idiots, and he hates them. That's a weird angle to make for this, but hey, it seems to work. Uh, Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mill kicks ass, bro. Great marketing there, Cecil. I guess, luckily, this man, this handsome and intelligent man, demanded a theme song for the book in his contract. And he got it. That's the whole title. <laughs> it's just the title. <laughs> okay, alright, fine. I'll do the rap. Okay, I'll do the rap. I know what Eric said. Here I am, Dr. Cecil's nephew. Don't know what I'm gonna rap about. His book, that's my best move. I heard this book is about two kids solving mysteries. Oh, I see. I got handed a note saying it's actually about three. The Grand Chateau <laughs> is the place to go if you want to know what the setting of the book is, I guess. <laughs> so him rapping under the pretense that he's being forced to do this by his mom for his uncle... Okay, I really appreciate this now, because I think that what, what really pissed me off about the whole uh, Soviet jump game thing is that they are comedy, and they were, like, putting this off as, like, oh, this is a real thing, this is real gaming history that we found. It's a gaming channel that found gaming history. Primarily, they're, they make jokes, though, so this wasn't funny, this was something cool. And then we felt betrayed by it because it turned out to just be something that they made rather than something they found. This, I appreciate more because this is along their lines of sense of humor because it's goofy. It's clearly Aaron in the opening as Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills pretending to not be Aaron. And then, obviously, Aaron pretending to be forced to rap about his uncle's book. 
And that's along their lines of humor, and I find it really hilarious. And that's why I appreciate this more. And also, Dan is singing on it, and he's the lead singer of Ninja Sex Party, and his voice is golden and amazing, and I hate him for it, because god damn it, I wish he could sing like that. But no, that's not a thing I should say out loud. Anyway, more song. I don't know. I just read the title on the sheet below. Don't ask me things about the book, because it feeds my uncle's ego. Also, the images through here are just like the promotional photos they've made of Aaron as Cecil, and then random... Game Grumps shots. So, like, there was a promo image of him going like this with, like, one of the Star Bomb shirts, which is Aaron and Dan and Dan's band with Ninja Brian from Ninja Sex Party when they rap about video games. But the other one with the mouth full of stuff, that was from one of the Game Grumps 10 Minute Power Hours. So, this is kind of a music video and it's kind of a slideshow more than anything. Whatever. It's the low effort thing because they didn't want to do it. It, it fits the theme. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Is my mother happy now? I'm just taking off the headphones and walking away. <laughs> Is my mother happy now? Perfect. And a kung fu skeleton. It's basic, but I love it. Just flew into a toilet, and I don't know what the hell that is. That's kind of creepy. GhostHuntersAdventureClub.com Perfect. That was uh, straight and to the point. That's great. I loved that. It was ridiculous. I love ridiculous. Uh, I want Starbomb to do more stuff. We need more Ninja Sex Party. They're working on a new album, so that's going to have more stuff. But yeah, that was a lot of backstory for a 2 minute and 43 second song. This video is 12 minutes now. Whatever. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. You can check out the link to the original video in the comment in the description box below. Or the comments. I don't know where I'll put it. You'll find out when you scroll down. Anyway, if you liked this, please leave me a like, a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you want to, or help me out with my Patreon. That'll make me help. Blah, 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 blah. That'll help me make more videos, and maybe it'll help me talk like I know what the hell I'm saying. That'll be fun. It's a thing. I've done a bunch of videos in a row in the same day, but this time I remember to change my shirt so it doesn't all look like it was recorded on the same day. Have fun, kids. We'll see you next time. Bye. Huh. <sighs>